What's up guys? Welcome back to a homemade homestead. My name's Jesse if you don't know me. Uh, we're talking chickens today. You know, chickens are a just a very integral, fundamental part of our homestead here. They give us eggs to eat. They brood the next generation of chicks. And uh, when they get once they get older that they're not laying anymore, they, they fill our freezers. So Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what we do to accommodate them. Specifically, we're talking about the chicken coop. And I thought today, we'd give you guys a chicken coop tour, show you guys kind of what we do to provide shelter and protection for them. So, let's get to that. Now, big disclaimer right up front, I am not a carpenter. I'm not an engineer or anything even resembling uh, qualified professional in any of these areas that I'm talking about. Uh, we got this thrown together uh, and just to provide a place to stay when we first moved here. Uh, we got this thrown up to try it. I had an idea in my head and we had scrap lumber to work with and we just sort of went with it. But this is not exactly up to up to building code for people. It's, uh, it's a shelter for chickens. So let's get to it. So for this building project, I would say about 90% of it was scrap lumber. Scrap lumber that we were either able to find on yard sales or leftover materials from when we constructed our house. Very, very cheap. We may, we in, did have to invest in a few sheets of OSB for both this coop and the larger one. But other than that, it's been uh, scrap that we could find uh, a lot of reclaimed material as well. As you can see, plain old two by fours, two by sixes, uh, even two by tens for some of them for these cross beams. Those were all left over from building projects from our home. Once we got the frame all put together of the wood, we enclosed it all with that same two by four welded wire that we actually have a lot more of around the homestead. Let's talk about the door for this chicken run really quickly. This was originally, right here was originally a regular wooden door that Rachel was able to pick up off a web page, off a yard sale web page for 10 bucks. Eventually that ended up breaking though. What we ended up doing instead was I was able to make a square frame and you can do this all yourself. We got some lengths of straight lengths of pipe. I think about seven of them and you can just they were just cut to whatever dimensions we wanted the door to be. Some 90 degree fittings for those and a, a couple T fittings right there for a cross piece and then we just covered it over with some more of that 2x4 welded wire zip tied it all together. For its hinges, we use plain old pipe clamps. And that's what holds it up to the frame. And that's all the more complicated that gets. Have a simple hook latch to keep it shut. Let's show you inside. I found I really appreciate this kind of PVC door. It's really simple, it's lightweight, easy to throw together in a hurry. I've used this same kind of door on a couple different projects now and I, I think I, I really like it. I've used the same kind of design for the door to our chicken tractor as well. And it just works really well, it's simple. Now this area that we're looking in right now, this has a couple different purposes that we like to use it for. We use it during the springtime when we're hatching out chicks. We use this area for a, a, a separate section for our chicks that have become too big to fit in our regular totes. Once we put them in this area, this keeps them separated. They're, they're totally secluded from the older hens so that they don't get pecked to death. And it works really well. We've got, in this area, we've got some of this much smaller openings in uh, this this plastic kind of stuff all the way around the bottom edge you can see that because some of the smaller chicks they're small enough to fit through that two by four welded wire so we just put that around the bottom to keep them in keep them getting out and it's worked really well now let's talk about this coop for a little bit for this whole thing again like I said a whole bunch of scrap lumber that we were able to find on a yard sale uh, we did end up buying two sheets of OSB board for the sheeting on the thing, uh, but we used, we found some 4x4, four, four, four pieces of 4x4 four four post for the corners, the, the legs of the thing, sort of. Put some 2x4s all along the bottom to give it some extra support and stability. And once we were done putting the 
face of the OSB on the front. We just, you know, made a cut where we wanted it to hinge. Bought a couple hinges, really cheap. And those serve, now this, this one wall, this whole wall serves as a door that we can open up when we need to get access to it. As you can see, just a regular old bolt latch. Allows us better access in to check on the chickens if we need to or to do some maintenance and cleanup. So you can see all along the bottom, uh, you might be able to see it. Underneath this green stuff, put some more of that welded wire on there with some of the smaller green wire just so they don't, the chickens don't fall through with their feet. Found a couple old sticks <laughs> and just screwed it in where we could to the frame of the thing for some purchase for them. Up here is where they lay. They have no trouble, uh, they had no trouble hopping up on here and then up into their laying boxes. These were just some old milk crates that we were able to find from a yard sale. Cut those out with some kind of saw or knife of some sort. Lay some straw in there and that works really well. Along the back right there you see that hole. That's where we reach in from the other side. It's covered by a piece, another sheet of OSB that we just cut to fit that hole. That serves as a sort of a door that we can swing out of the way reach in and get the eggs in this laying box. It's very simple, two by four framing for the whole thing. We've got some heavier duty plastic and put some insulation up top here to help keep the chickens a little bit cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter time. One thing we really liked about this chicken coop is during the winter time, we put some solid pieces of cardboard along the bottom, and then we piled some old straw or hay along here just to give the chickens some extra insulation. And it works really well when they would perch up here, they would lay their manure down and on that straw, and it would sit there during the winter and compost. And come springtime, when they don't need that insulation anymore, we just grab those pieces of cardboard and pull that out and all the composted straw and manure with it. And it works really well. Uh, for the door, my dad actually scored this from some old material that our hospital was getting rid of when it was doing its, some of its remodeling. Put an eye hook in there and just tied some twine around it. We hooked that up to a pulley which connects over to the frame and that, and that operates this door right here that we can either close or uh, open. We actually usually uh, just leave it open for most of the time during the summertime just to give the chickens a little bit of extra ventilation. And for the shingles, uh, again, my dad had some spare asphalt shingles that he ripped off of an old milk barn that he was putting new roofing on. And the parts that came, up, um, came off in sheets, we were just able to slap on there. And it works fine for shedding the water. It works great. Outside here, you can see that's just an old piece of uh, rain gutter that we had laying around. I screwed it to the, the frame of the run here. And that just sits there like that, we, and that's where we use for their feeder. To keep their feet up off the ground if we need to. Have these couple pallets out here sitting on cinder block, and gives them a little bit of extra shade if they don't want to hide in the coop to get away from the sun during the day. As you can see, that's where they're hiding right now. And that's it for our first coop. Now let's show you the bigger one. This is one that we actually use primarily anymore, especially since we've gotten more chickens. Once they grow, they don't fit inside that smaller one all, all that well. This coop still serves as a great shelter for the smaller chicks while they grow. Now onto this big coop. Almost 100% of it was scrap material that we had left over after we built our house here. You see the two by four? I built it up a little bit just to set the roof on so it would have a little bit of an incline on the back side. The water would have more of a tendency to run off. Those open squares we decided to just leave and it was gonna serve for really good ventilation in the summertime. Again, this door and let's show you the other one. This door on this side and that door, both of them were repurposed from my parents. Again, they had some old doors just sitting in their tool shed. They weren't being used, so they offered them to us and we were happy to take them. Just had to, again, buy a, a couple more hinges to set them on. Another one of these hook latches is all that we use to keep it shut. 
inside here, we decided we quite liked the milk crate idea for laying boxes. And the chickens like them too. Threw this thing together, I think, out of some, um, some pieces of old pallets and a couple pieces of OSB. Again, just sort of threw it together. It's sort of like a shelving place to keep the laying boxes in separate levels. Back here, uh, we have, you see these, these bars right here. These actually serve as perches for the hens. These I made out of just two by fours cut widthwise just so that it's it's more like one by fours. Smaller posts uh, so that they would be sm uh, thinner for the chickens to wrap their claws around and perch on more easily. And see I created sort of like a shelf for them to sit on. Cut a couple pieces of two by four squares and just anchored that to the chicken coop. And that serves as a place where we can just set those perch bars, which works really well because when I need to clean out the coop, I just lift these perches out of their place and I can get to that manure to shovel it out a lot more easily. Yeah, so this, these, these perches are where they sleep when they're not laying. That pretty much sums it up for the inside of the coop. Come outside to their run area. See, they, uh, we have their water set up just in a bucket. The other end is hooked up to our irrigation line. The roosters don't like that I'm out here, especially sunny. What do you think? You were being pretty loud earlier. Have you gotten used to me? <laughs> I'll leave you alone. So for the roof, Rachel was able to score some metal roofing, again from someone that she found on Facebook that was getting rid of it and they said it was free if we came and picked it up. So we did what we had to do to just cut that to the size we needed, anchored it to the roof with some plain old screws, nothing too complex. I do like the idea of the metal roof though because that sheds the water more easily and I like the idea of having cleaner water that can be washed off of a metal roof instead of the asphalt shingles which may shed some of the grainier stuff that they have on them. Someday I'd actually would love to be able to try to get a rain gutter and put it all across the top right here uh, to collect some of that water, put a downspout on there and maybe run it into a bucket for them or whatever to sort of act as a little bit of rain catchment, give them some watering. But that's another project for another time. I may get to it. I, I like the idea of rain catchment. But as I said before, you know, none of this, that this is hardly airtight. None of it is up to code, but at the same time, Chickens are very low maintenance. They don't really care so much if you have all the fancy bells and whistles of a, of a chicken coop that you might see in a magazine. All they're looking for is a shelter from the elements, uh, give them a, an enclosed space to protect them from the cold or the sun a little bit. And they're happy with that. They're just happy as can be in this area. For their enclosed area, we just use that same two by four welded wire all the way around wherever we need to keep them enclosed. We just put some T-posts down and some welded wire. And that suits you guys just fine, doesn't it? I'm all done. Thank you, Sonny. <laughs> well guys, thanks for watching. That about wraps it up. I hope you, hopefully you enjoyed that video. What do you guys think? Do you like the chicken coop? Uh, give me some of your feedback. Again, I'm no engineer. I have no background whatsoever in that. Uh, we worked with the materials that we had, but let us know uh, if you've ever built a chicken coop, what you might have done differently. Uh, if you have some pointers that you could give me maybe to, to improve on this thing, I'd appreciate it. I'm always willing to learn from someone more knowledgeable in this kind of stuff than me. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and you're welcome to share it with, with some of your friends. But uh, until then, I guess we'll see you again in another video. Take it easy.